uh, the whole existence of radio as a medium. Radio as a medium. Yes, 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 yes. Well, we are the Lancaster University Comedy Institute. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> uh, uh, who, who are, 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 are uh, yeah, yes, yes, a, a very, uh, very good institute, affiliated only with um, with radio, affiliated with no nothing else. Um, so yes, yes. Uh, so we are, we we are here, we are here, and I've got some, I've got some prompts, and wow. I thought we'd start with a game of A B C. Oh, how exciting! So yes, uh, and the prompt that we're going to have, actually, no, I'll first, I'll first say the letter that we'll start on. Give me a random letter. B. Okay, B. Uh, and the prompt that we're going to have is the Polar Express. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> what is this train in front of me? Can you not see that the train is the Polar Express? Don't be ridiculous. It's not the Polar Express. Everyone knows it's the Polar Express. <laughs> Fucking hell. It really is the Polar Express. Get on the train or get out. You've got to make your choice. Hold it, hold up. Why, why, why? I think it's got places to be. So, uh, you know, can't stop here forever. Jumping jackrabbits. Uh, okay, let's hop on. Kangaroos, they hop as well. That's that's a related point. But uh, we, we're humans. We're humans and we're going to the North Pole. Lordy, what are we going to do there? Meet Santa Claus. Nice. I, right, let's go. On we go. Choo choo. Puff puff. <laughs> Quite. Right. It's a bloody fast train and we're here in the North Pole. Speed is always of the essence on the Polar Express. <laughs> Too right it is. Now let's find that Santa. Under this giant pile of presents, I think I can see the outline of a portly fellow dressed in red. I suspect it may be Mr. Christmas himself. Very good. Let's get these presents off him. Ugh. What shall we tell him we want for Christmas? V Xylophones. <laughs> yes. And nothing else. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I like x-rays as well. <laughs> Zoink, Santa. Got any xylophones or x-rays? A guitar would be nice as well. Banjos too. Can't you see, though? He's, he's not got any instruments. In fact, he's injured. Don't do that to me. Santa injured my childhood hero? Everyone is fallible. Never meet your heroes. Fallible Santa is. Santa, speak to us. Going pretty badly this. He's he's not saying anything. I don't I think I don't think he can talk. <laughs> ha! Ha! Santa, can you hear us? I don't think he can hear us. I think he's got his AirPods in. <laughs> Jumping jackrabbits. Turn, turns out AirPods were the real villain of Christmas after all. Okay. And scene. <laughs> As you can see, we're experts at improv. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I, I, think, I think that went all right. Yes. I, I didn't we mind. We killed that. Santa. The... Yes, we also we also um, did something which we could never do on air, uh, which is uh, talk about AirPods being evil. Which uh, I I didn't say they were evil. I just said oh, yes. he had them in. Oh uh, yes, yes. Other other products for listening to music are also available. In, in, indeed, indeed, yes. uh, less evil ones. No, well, we're not saying they're evil. You know, it's it's a neutral. There's no value judgment. In fact. I think no matter what headphones you've got, 
you wouldn't be able to hear the children when you're supposed to be giving them presents. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Mm. Yes. Well, well. So maybe this is an episode of the Improv Hour against all headphones. Yes, we we hate them. Oh yes, oh yes. A headphone killed my parents. <laughs> exactly. Mine too. We have the same parents because all, all comedy people we're we're born from the same source. Yes. We come out of the great comedy well. Yes. Yeah, so it's 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 uh it's the um it's the monster in Star Wars episode 6 Return of the Jedi. We just get coughed up. Yes. Yes, it, it 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 excretes us after it's finished chewing up all the good the good aliens and all the good Jedi. We yeah. are we are the the shit that it uh, excretes. Exactly <laughs> right. That's that's what we are. Yes. All right, John. What are we doing next? Oh right, well, I, I I very much enjoyed that that round of ABC. So we could do another. I would like to we do another. We can if you want. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. So <laughs> this, this, this this round of ABC. Uh, we're gonna take the prompt of eavesdropping and eavesdropping. give me a letter to start with W well well what 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 what, what did I just hear you talking about with the stage manager just then Xavier you heard nothing nothing you got that you're going to fire me from this play you can't do that. Z-list actors want to be in this play, and you are not even that. Hang about. Just because I'm an alpha-list actor doesn't mean I can't be in this damn production of Paranormal Festivities, a Lucy sketch show. But it does mean that I can fire you from this production, and that's what I'm doing now. We have much better actors on the way. Christ, don't fire me. I just want to play a man who wants to try dogging with his wife. Don't you try the dogging line on me. But uh, make sure you come and see the play, of course. You know, that'll be four pounds. Even if I'm a Lucy member. For Lucy members, it's only two pounds. <laughs> God, what a good deal, but I'm still upset that you won't let me be in the play. How about I let you be in the front row to watch it? I don't want to be in the front row. I want to be in the zero throw, i.e. on the stage. <laughs> Just calm down, okay? There's only so many actors who can be in it, and you're not one of them. King James would have cast me... <laughs> Even though he's dead. <laughs> and don't get me started on that Harvey character, or that Sowler, or that Rosa, or that Johnny. Don't, no. they, they're, I'm better than all of them. Look, we might as well come out and say it. Paranormal Festivities, a Lucy sketch show, is just going to be better without you. <laughs> Mummy, the director man was mean to me. No mummies around here. Only us directors. Everyone in this room is a director, and that's a true fact. Oh my god, that's why I could feel the evil in this room. <laughs> Power emanates from the eyes of all sketch show directors. That is why we have ultimate control over you. Quack. Oh, <laughs> quack. I just, I, I'm, I'm, help me, <laughs> please give me a role in this Paranormal Festivities and Lucy sketch show on the 11th of December, 7.30pm, filed common room, two pounds for Lucy members, four pounds for non-Lucy members, please give me a role. Roll, roll. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any roles left. I think we filled them. We have a very exciting cast of, of seven tremendous actors uh, and, and you're just a dude in a yellow jumper, Xavier. Sexy, though. Look at me. To be fair, it is pretty sexy. Uh, uh, un uh, yeah. Also, surely there's a role for me somewhere. 
Verily, I think, I think we may be able to give you the role of a small child. Whoa! It's the biggest role I've landed in my 30 years of acting. And scene. <laughs> oh, lovely. Very well done. Fun fact for our <laughs> listeners. The, the fictional play in this, in that sketch, that's actually real. And you can come and see it. Yes, indeed. Uh, paranormal festivities, the Lucy sketch show, 7.30pm, Piled Common Room, Saturday the 11th of December 2021. £2 yeah. for Lucy members, £4 for non-Lucy members. And it has a, a haunted house, an evil villain. It is a night of chaos not to be missed. See, mm. I've, I've memorised all the taglines. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, well, well, uh, fantastic. So yes, do come along to that uh, if you if you would like to. But uh, yes, um, I think uh, Tristan and I will just be a ball of stress for that uh, That's show. You, yes. you will be a ball of stress. I will be a ball of energy and joy. Uh, yes, because <laughs> our show is going to be on. Yes, it's going to be amazing. Mm. Yes, yes. It, uh, I, I mean. Oh, well, it's going to have me in it, so that's why. <laughs> yes, it, it is actually going to have going to have John in it. Yes, and, and he is going to play the role of a small child. Yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, uh, but no more shall be revealed than no, that. No, no, no more. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, so yes. So uh, I think uh, we shall now go on to our first song break of uh of today, and I've got. As songs that we could listen to, I've got some Daft Punk, some The Strokes, a little bit of Jimi Hendrix, a little bit of Funkadelic, um, oh, uh, I've a little bit of Lee Dorsey, and some Debussy, and some Black Sabbath. I think. Oh, I think. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Black Sabbath. So, uh, so yes, I shall see you guys. Uh. Very, very soon. Let's have some Sabbath. Oh. Now let's have some Sabbath.
Oh, right. Okay. So, uh, that was Paranoid by Black Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yes, and um, uh, yes, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into, I think we're going to jump into a game of Soundtrack Hijack. So, in this game, uh, we're going to start off with a random prompt and we're going to launch into a free-form improv scene. However, at some point, I will start playing some music and then the tone of the music will dictate the tone of our improv scene. Oh. So our tone must change. But then the music will change again. And then our tone must change again to match the music. And then the music will change again and again and again. So yes, that's what's going to happen. Crazy. Indeed. So yes. Uh, are you ready to start? Oh boy. <laughs> That was a yes. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Not just an exclamation no. of surprise. Yes. Right. <laughs> Are you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent. Yes. Um. So, the prompt that we're going to choose is... Christmas shopping. And so, yes. So. Oh, well, uh, can I help you, ma'am? Uh, yes, yes, I was I was just looking for a present for my niece. Oh, how old is she? Uh, she's 32. Oh, lovely. Oh, I can... Well, now, w- what, what kind of stuff does she like? I don't really know. I haven't seen her since last Christmas, you see. I only see her at Christmas, and she's always doing all of those things that young people do. You know, she's off with her friends, and she's playing those video games, and she's working long hours throughout the Christmas period, so I don't really know her very well. She's too busy being exploited by the cat. Capitalist machine. Oh, well, I think in that case we should get her a machete so that she can lead a militia to uprise against the capitalist machine. What do you say? Uh, well, that would be lovely. However, I personally am on the side of capitalism <laughs> because I own a small, well, quite medium sized, maybe even a large business and It's hard being a large business. It's very sad times. Did you know, for just £20 a month, you can sponsor a large supermarket chain? Right here in the UK, if you want to support me and my immediate family, not my niece, my immediate family, my dogs and my two children, and my husband, because we are a heteronormative nuclear family. Oh, lovely. You can give just £20 a month to Tesco, which is what I own, and we won't be struggling on the grapevine, the the, the grape line, you know, the poverty line, anymore. (sighs) We'll, We'll be able to afford the caviar that we've been deprived of recently. You won't be able to afford any more caviar. Oh, why not? Because I am Batman. (sighs) Oh my, it's Batman! I've had it with you, ruling Gotham, exploiting the the weak. But, But I did it, I did it for the good of my family. And I don't talk to me about family. Why do do you do you have trauma associated with that? Well, it all started <laughs> when I was uh, roaming the streets of Africa with my parents. Oh yes, <laughs> and uh, funky place. Oh yes, and uh, there we were. We were going on a safari, and I, I was a, uh, I, I wanted to pet the elephants, but the elephants ate my parents. Oh, that happened to me as well. Oh, wow. So exciting. <laughs> well, I, I suppose so. I love elephants. <laughs> well, it was a little traumatic for me. I've got to be honest with you. How, that No, it's, it sounds like a party to me. 
well, 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 come on. I mean, my, my parents died. Uh, aren't you? Aren't, uh, well, aren't you upset about your parents dying? I celebrate their death every year on the anniversary. It's a very special time for me. I salute and I stand resolute and I think about the greatness of capitalism. Brother, <laughs> capitalism truly is the, the, the way forward for Mother Russia. It truly is, yes. I, I'm so glad that we've embraced capitalism. We should lead a revolution, brother. A capitalist re revolution against Tsar Nicholas II. Exactly. A capitalist's future for capitalist Russia. It will be the blue dawn. Brothers in arms exploiting each other. Oh, wonderful. How joyful. Hang on a minute. You're not a true capitalist. I see some values of good and liberalism in you. I didn't do it, Inspector, I swear. You can't fool me. I saw you being kind to someone the other day. It wasn't me. I was somewhere else. I was... I was alone in my room reading the latest Agatha Christie. That's... That's a book about doing the right thing. Is it? I, I thought it was a book about murder and killing people. But it's about solving murder, which is doing the right thing, and that's not what we do here. But you're solving a crime right now. Only for economic gain. Mm. Well, <laughs> anyway, uh, I think uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, pff, screw it. Screw it. You, screw it. Screw yeah. capitalism. Screw no, what? No, well, no, we uh, love capitalism. We love it. Yeah, uh, well, yes. I mean, yes. it's it's a, it's it's good fun, I suppose. It's, uh, exploiting it's... the workers. Yes, Come on. I love exploiting those workers. <laughs> look, look. One of them's begging for money. <laughs> <laughs> let's not give them any. No. Oh, yes. No, no, let's steal from them. <laughs> yes. Oh. Let's spit, steal <laughs> from them. Oh, oh. Spit on their face. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that got him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Let's let's have a party, a capitalist party. A capitalist we party. We found the capitalism party. Oh yes. Let's do it. Yes. The the capitalist party of Russia. It will be the UCSR and we yes. shall have a cold war with those filthy communists over in America. Yes. And scene. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> yes, yes. So yes, yes. I, 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 um. I, I. Well, well, well I, I, I hope. I just hope we haven't, uh, done anything that is too obscene. But I don't think we have. Uh, Many I... ideologies are available. <laughs> Other economic ideologies are available. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, we 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 offer uh anarchy here at Lucy. Uh, all flavors of communism. Um, if you're a capitalist, you're you're perfectly well within your rights to uh, to join Lucy, be involved. You know. Mm. Yeah, we we don't discriminate as long as we remain within British law, obviously. So. Uh, Yes, I don't know whether we have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, uh, I don't think we do. Uh, okay, well, stuff that then. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yeah, but uh, well, that's that, that's lucky because uh, Lu Lucy is a drug drug trafficking gang. But not uh, really. Yeah, but not really. Uh, <laughs> yes. So yes. Well, gosh, gosh, we. We're so good at this. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so good at, at, um, at, uh, following the podcasting rules. I definitely, I definitely didn't mention the station that we're, we're in right now. But we're uh, not associated with that station. We, we are have, certainly not. We have, you know, we're, we're, we're not on their, on their station, and uh, you didn't hear us say their name. Indeed. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, well, uh... I'm glad that's sorted. <laughs> what are we doing next, John? Uh, well, now, we could... Well, uh, well, I think, I think, I think what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll just, um, let's, let's take a prompt and go into a scene and, and just do a scene for a little bit. Let's Very just do that. Idea. Yes, mm. okay. And the prompt is autumn. Autumn. Yes, well. Oh, I love autumn. I love the way that the leaves crunch under my feet. I love the slight cool in the air. I love how depressed everyone is as they have to go back to school. That just brings joy to my heart because I love watching other people's misery. Oh, oh uh, uh, hello. Uh, oh, it's Mr. It's Mr. Greaves. It, he's my teacher. Oh, hello, Mr. Greaves. <laughs> I mean, hello. Oh, are you out on a walk then, Mr. Greaves? Yes. I always enjoy going for a walk the day before school starts again because all the children are so miserable. Oh, I, I am a little miserable. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. oh, but you're you're not going to be in my class anymore, are you? No, you're going up into year five. Uh, yes, I am. Pathetic. Why? Why is it pathetic? You're a coward. You should have stuck with me for another year. I don't want to stick in year four for another year. You should. I went to the head teacher and I said to her, I said, I want those children in my year again. I want to make them miserable again. But she said, no, nope, they have to progress. And I said, all right, why don't I move to year five? So I can... Oh, yes, I no. did. Yes! Oh, but sadly she said no. She put me in. You know where she put me? Where? Year six! Oh, no, that means I'll have to have you for another year yes, after I complete I'm this one. Yes, I'm going to be leering over you throughout your career at school. No, no, I won't have this. Oh... And I... after that, I'm going to go into secondary teaching. No! Do you know what's good about secondary teaching? What? You get to teach all the different years. Oh, no, no. I, I won't have this. I can't, I can't let Mr. Greaves inflict misery on the lives of all these children. I must do something to stop him. Unfortunately, must... you have no rights. Oh... To hell with rights. I'll clobber you to death with this stick. No, oh, uh, not the uh, stick. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Stop, it, stop it. You're hurting me. That tickles. Uh, oh, no, stop uh, it. Stop it. Stop. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't teach us again. But I'm, I'm, it's my job. Well, wait, wait, oh, yeah. right. Oh, right. Well. But you can't make us miserable, OK? I mean, that's kind of an occupational hazard for you. You're a small child. Small children are always miserable in school. At least I make it intentional, which means I'm doing a good job. Unlike all your other teachers, softy scum, they think that they are being kind to you. They're failing because you're still miserable. Joe, well, look, I... I, I... Look, please, please, I'll make you a deal, okay? Oh, what can you offer me? I will, I will pay you 50,000 quid a year if you don't make me miserable do, or anyone else. Do you, do you, do you have 50,000 pounds a year? Uh, well, I, I'll work for it. What will you do? Uh, I'll work for you, uh, or... Oh, you I'll... want me to pay you £50,000 a year so you can pay me back £50,000 a year? Oh, um, yes, yes, come on, it, 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 come on, it's a good deal, Mr Greaves. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I am a primary school teacher. How much do you suppose my income is? Oh, roughly £51,000 a year. No. How much? 
more like one thousand pounds a year. Oh no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll. Okay. I'll work for you every day after school. I'll clean your tires. I'll clean your house. I'll cook your dinner. If you just. If you just be nice to us. Hmm. This is tempting. However, what if, in addition to those things, you did one other task for me? Oh, go on. What if you taught the class? Oh. Oh, well. I, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty scared of doing that, teaching the class. Oh, I'm not sure. It's I easy. No. I'll tell you all the secrets. All you have to do is go up to the front, in front of all your oh. friends, oh. all the people whose respect you require, oh. all the people who have a bearing on your life. Oh, this doesn't sound nice. And you shout at them. No. Yes. I can't do that. You shout and you shout and that's all you do. You keep shouting. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Either you shout at them, or I shout at you and them. No. It's a prisoner's dilemma. No. Yes. No. Shout at them. No. Shout. Do it now. Shout. Shout. Ah! Good. I'm off. Good luck. And see. <laughs> well, that was all right. <laughs> Well, yes. Mr. Greaves isn't very nice, is he? Uh, no, uh, but yes. Well, well, he, he, I, he's um, he's not based on any uh, teacher from my past. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Well, well, that was fun. Uh, yes, yes. Well, I think it's now time for our next song break. Mm -hmm. So, uh let's do, let's do, let's do. Some more Black Sabbath, I think. <laughs> yes. But this one's going to be a very nice one. This is this is Fluff by Black Sabbath. Oh, Fluff. <laughs> yes.
Hello, hello, we're back. Uh, yes, that was Fluff by Black Sabbath. Fluff! <laughs> yes, yes, a very nice song. Uh, uh, just, uh, yes, it is, uh, written, uh, about the producer of that band's album, uh, who apparently was a very nice guy, and so they, uh, they wrote this song about him. Uh, so yes, <laughs> um, so yes, uh, well, the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to have a chat. Uh, and then if one of us wants to jump into a scene, we'll, we'll do just that and we'll jump into a scene. Um, uh, and you, you shout improv and then you jump right into it. So, yes. Uh, so, yes. Uh, well, well, how's, how's, uh, how's your week been? It's, been? it's been very groovy. It's been filled with comedy, John. Mm. As ever, mm. the comedy society does so many things. <laughs> it's mm. it's all it's always groovy. Um, I've been I've been doing my degree as well. Uh, yeah, there's something um, I like to do from time to time, <laughs> just to sort of distract myself from my main occupation of of comedy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, what 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 have you been doing in it? In my degree, I've been looking at. Uh, the Victorians. Oh and right. Yes, them crazy lot. They've been. They. Do you know what? They. They invented shoplifters. Oh really? Yes, they did. <laughs> they did. Well, they might not have oh. invented shoplifters, but suddenly there were a lot more of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, gosh. I mean, so why did this come about? Um. Because there were so many more shops, John. Oh, okay. Right. Yes. Consumer culture. Here it is. It's oh, here now. Oh. You've got to consume the things. Buy the things. Sell the things. Make the things. Steal the things. That last one isn't officially recommended, but it's yes. a thing that people do. Yes. Yes, indeed. Improv. <laughs> oh, well, now. Look at that. Look at that shop over there. I think, oh, it, what does it sell? It sells tobacco. Oh, gosh, tobacco. And it's only one penny. Well, that one, one penny is quite a lot. It's Victorian times. I, it certainly is Victorian yes. times, Governor. <laughs> yes, we, 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 we got to keep the pennies pinched. Wait, we, wait. we can't afford to spend a penny on tobacco. Oh, gosh. Gosh. But do you know mm. what I would quite like? Some tobacco. Tobacco, yes, yes, exactly what I was thinking, yes. Well, gosh, what shall we do then? I think we're going to have to hatch a plan. Hatch a plan. Hatch oh. a plan with a with an at at the beginning. Well, I de damn right, that's the only spelling of hatch there is. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, what are we going to do then? We gonna we gonna we gonna work to to earn a penny to what buy a that food to stupid idea. Certainly not. Oh, what are we gonna do? I was thinking, right? We pop into this shop, and uh, one of us distracts the shopping assistant. Yeah, and the other one steals all the tobacco. Oh, boy. infallible plan. Unless there's more than one shop assistant, in which case it's it's fallible. Oh gosh! Well, strip my stockings off and knock me over with a piece of lead pipe. <laughs> what a plan! Oh yes. So, uh, uh, do you want to distract, or, 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 or shall I? Oh well, I I don't know. I I could I could do the dis distracting. Oh, I suppose. What, what will you do to distract them? Oh well, I suppose I'll. Cough coal in his face. Oh I've yes, that's very doable in Victorian times. Oh yes, lungs full of coal. I've got full of them. I'll just cough in his face, and soon his vision will be totally obscured. Oh yes, he won't see me stealing the tobacco. Right. But 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 what if? Right. What if he's so used to having tobacco breathed into his eyes that he's become desensitised? He oh. might be able to see right through the coal. Oh, well, okay, okay. Um, well, in that case, well, I'll have to distract him some other way then. Yeah. Uh, 
sneak some opium into his mouth. Oh, I suppose so. I was I was kind of hoping to use this opium to feed my family this dinner time, but uh, yeah. Well, we don't it. need the opium. We only need tobacco, which is like opium, only less strong, less addictive, and less nutritious. Well, it sounds good to me. I don't have an education, so that all sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, right. Education hasn't been invented yet, except for the posh. Oh, well, damn right, and that's the way it should stay. Now, anyway, I've got some opium. <laughs> All right, an opium mushroom here. Oh, good, good, right uh, now. Give it to me. Here you go. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Hang about. You just ate my opium. Yes, it was delicious. What are we... I'm a professional shoplifter, and that means lifting things not just from shops, but from any old unsuspecting twit. Listen, Governor, I was going to use that to feed my family. I know, but what about me? I'm hungry too. But, oh, 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 you've you've got me riled up now. Yeah. And what are you going to do about it? I'm high on opium now. I'm going to beat you in any fight. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, I need to get high on something to beat you in a fight. What about tobacco? I'm just going to have to grit my teeth and shoplift that tobacco. You're not going to manage it alone. We wouldn't even have managed it as a pair. That's why I stole your opium instead. Oh, oh rats. Oh, what am I going to get high on? Um, um, oh, look, there's some human waste being dropped on the street over there. Delicious. Oh, That's what I eat when I don't have any opium. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, no, it's made you too powerful. <laughs> oh, no, you are the human poo. <laughs> oh, dear. You opium-stealing scum. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I have regrets. <laughs> Oh, I'm covered in poo! I've... Oh. Uh, uh, this... You've only this... gone and killed me! I certainly have. No one steals my opium. And seen. Beautiful. <laughs> well, that was... That was all right. Um, <laughs> I think I think uh, I think we're doing all right. Um, yes, yes. Well, gosh, gosh, that was um. Uh, well, yes. Uh, this was a genuine representation of my research project. <laughs> Did you eat poo? Uh, yes, actually, it's, it's all in the name of historical research. Uh, oh, right, oh, okay. <laughs> you can't truly understand Victorian life until you've tried some of the things they used to eat, you see. So, uh, yeah, naturally, I, poo is very much a part of that. Uh, yes, R mm. right. <laughs> That's not actually true. Um, they didn't eat poo, I, I did it. Completely of my own volition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, gosh, what was this one? Is that going in your paper then? Your write up? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, it's more of a, a sort of footnote, really, you know. Oh, right. A footnote, you know. I ate some poo yesterday. It was nice, but a little bitter, you know. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I like to leave little footnotes about my life. Right. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh. Yes, yes. Gosh. What about you? What have you been up to this week, John? Um, well, um, what have I been up to? Oh, I've, I've, I've been, um, doing, doing a little bit of planning for my, uh, the workshop that I'm going to run, uh, next week, um, mm. with some children, um, so it's part of my third year project and um uh i'll be um just um 
giving them some storytelling apps for them to um uh use and to um so so yes so so i i i i my my project is to develop a story a storytelling app with which children can develop digital stories and um yes uh, so i'm going to give them some existing storytelling apps and give them a task to complete with the app and then to get their feedback on it and see how much they enjoyed it what they what they thought could be improved about it mm. and yes uh so yes um so what does a storytelling app do well um you can use it to make stories basically so for example um uh you can um uh you can um sorry i just uh, just got a message from somebody but um uh for example uh you could there one one storytelling app would be one where you can make a comic strip out of say um taking a photo of um uh something and then adding a caption to it and uh, adding uh, speech bubbles, um, adding uh, little uh, word effects like pow or ouch or something, um, uh, even adding little little uh, clip arts to it like uh, explosions or, or something, uh, and then you know going on to make the next box in the comic strip, um, uh, and then taking another photo for that box and adding speech bubbles and stuff etc and so um you know if you've got people uh um sort of willing to do a bit of acting for you you could have them posing um and then they could um uh they could pose as characters in the comic strip and uh, then take you could take a photo of them and add speech bubbles etc ah so so they end up in the comic strip indeed that's very cool yes Improv! <laughs> Help! Help! I'm trapped in a comic strip! Oh, God. You're, you're the reader. You need to free me. Oh, fucking hell. Why is my fucking Marvel comic talking to me? Why is, why is Thor animated all of a sudden? I'm not really Thor. My name is Jim, and I just was playing around on a storytelling app, and then, pow! There I was, here, in the... In the comic strip. Oh, oh, gosh, gosh. Oh, well, well, um, um, mate, what did you say your name was? Jim. Jim. Well, what, what an awful name. I know, uh, I've, I've never met anyone called Jim who I liked. Me neither. <laughs> well, uh, gosh, how am I going to get you out? I don't know, but you must not, under any circumstances, turn the page. Because cause it'll crush my face. Okay. Okay, I, w I won't. I won't. I just, Good. I, just wanted to, I just wanted to relax and read some Wonder Woman. Deep well, me. you can't, because I'm trapped in the comic with Wonder Woman. She's here too. Oh. Uh, but but she's a little more static, you know. Oh, oh, oh gosh, well, well, I'm just. Well, this is, this will be one to tell the boys. This will be. This, I, uh, my 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 uh, Marvel fanboy friends are certainly going to like this. I'm uh, reading Wonder Woman, and then Thor starts talking to me and saying his name's Jim. Do you think they'll believe you? Oh, oh well, I'd better, I better, better take some video evidence of it uh, okay because it is a bit odd you're, you're talking to your comic and I, i'm kind of mostly in your imagination you know oh well uh oh am i going am i going mad with my love of wonder woman yes oh oh, oh i should i shouldn't have taken those 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 mushroom mushrooms of opium well, listen. I I need to need to calm down. Clearly, uh, okay. drink some water. Just, just, just chill out, chill out. I, I'm pranking you. I like oh. I like pranking oh. children, telling them that you know 
They're going nuts. No, oh, oh, phew, phew. I was worried. I mean, you are going nuts. Oh, oh. I just don't want you to stress out. It's annoying. Oh, right. Okay. Oh God. Okay. So you're real. You're, 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 you're really trapped in this comic book. It's not me hallucinating. I mean, I can't tell. It's possible that my existence is contingent on your believing in me. Oh. Whoa. But you might say that's true for all stories. Okay. <laughs> so, if I stop believing on in you, then you'll die. Do you reckon? I reckon. Well, well, well. Okay. Oh God, I need to really believe in you now. But you. Oh. If I stop believing in you for a moment, you'll die. Yeah, like fairies. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Concentrate, concentrate, Willie. You're getting distracted. You're you're thinking about something else, no. aren't you? I can feel it. I need to think about you. Yeah, think about me. Oh. Think about me. It's no. all about me, Jim. <laughs> it's gym time. No. <laughs> I can be the only thing in your life. The only thought that occupies your mind. There's no space for anything else. No room for anything else. Only Jim. No. Am I just gonna have to have you in my life for in, in in always in my conscience for the rest of my days? Yes, I'm you, Jim. No, I'm you, Jim. No, I just wanted to read Wonder Woman. Not allowed. Oh, but I can. I can read Wonder Woman and believe in you? No. Okay. Well, so, well, look. Okay, okay. I, 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 so I can't read Wonder Woman? Correct. Oh, okay. You can only read Jim! No! <laughs> okay. Right. Well, uh, now we're back on track. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 um, I'm tired of this. I think you should stop believing in me now. Are you are you ready to is, to go into the void? Yes. And so are you. Me? When you stop believing in me, you stop believing in yourself. And when you stop believing in yourself, you cannot achieve anything. Oh, well, I suppose the void is tempting. Come with me into the void. Well, goodbye, cruel world. And he's dead and seen. <laughs> A bit existential, that one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, that was still good. Uh, <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, okay, well. Uh, yes. Well. Um, yes. So, I think we should call the episode there. Yes. Um, but finally, let's play a little song. Um, uh, so, yes, the song we're going to play is oh let's play um hang on a minute let me just let me just get it up let's play let's play oh oh i very much enjoy um actually actually no we haven't got time to play a song um yes anyway we're, we're just gonna wrap it up here yes. so yes um thank you for listening if, yes uh indeed um and thank you for coming on uh so oh, thank you uh Yes, right. Well, this has been the Lucy Improv Hour, and I will, uh, I will catch you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> uh -huh.